I guarantee you, you're going to come out a better person than you did before. That's how you're going to improve yourself before 30. What's up, people? It's your boy, Andrew FAQ, here with you with another video. I'm excited for this one. Let's go! So today, I'm going to be discussing five things that all men should do before they hit 30. Let's get to the video. Tip number one, and it's to have a skill that you are passionate about. Listen, you have to be passionate about something. Something that's going to help society grow. Something that's going to allow people to see you as a valuable member of society. Whether it's a trade, whether it's a degree, or whether it's a profession that allows you to be different from the crowd. You've got to be bringing something different from your peers, something different from other people that they can see you as a valuable member of society. Some people go into niche fields, like they become doctors, lawyers, or you become an engineer, someone that's an engineer or an artist. You've got to be bringing some sort of value to society to allow you to become a member of the society. We have to create our value as men. We've got to come into this world and create value. And that's how other men, women, everyone will see you as a very valuable member in society. Me, when I started doing um, content before this, I was a, a data scientist. I came, I went to uni and I studied a niche profession that's going to allow me to become more valuable to society. So from then, I was able to build my um, income, build my status up, and now I'm able to do things that create content to give back to community like yourself, level up with men, help men grow, to become more financially aware. You've got to be focused on your purpose. Women come secondary. Focus on your purpose. And tip number one is to find a skill that's going to make you become different from the rest. For example, if you have a passion for fitness, you can become a personal trainer. And you can even become a personal trainer that specializes in online fitness. So you're able to get more clients. Because I see some PTs that are to do more physical classes but that thing it takes away your timing if you could bring that into an online course and make that become a business you can have multiple um clients coming to your to your program and following your program and allowing them to become more fit so if you have a passion for fitness i'll say become a personal trainer that's able to like bring value to people's lives let them helping them become fit and healthy or if you have a passion for photography and you want to like um sort of shoot content that's going to allow people to sort of express themselves. You're going to become going to people's lives and telling their story. Always find a niche because nowadays it's good to be different from the rest. Having a niche is going to allow you to become more and more valuable to society. People are going to actually want to connect with you because of your skill set. You're going to end up networking with people because you bring a different type of value to them. Tip number two, things to do before you're 30 is to work out and focus on your overall health. Listen. As you get older, your health becomes your wealth. Forget all putting toxics in your body, toxins and eating junk. Listen, you have to be eating healthy foods, strong, healthy food that's going to allow you to become physically fit by the time you hit 30. You've got to be working out at least four to five times a week because then your body will pick up what's called muscle memory. So when you get to 30, your body has already built up its mechanism to allow yourself to be, stay fit and continue on to grow beyond 30. When you're young, you're, you're told to eat anything you want, which is fine. But as you get to your 20s and you're trying to become more physically um, uh, better in shape, you have to be watching the food you in, intake in your body. You've got to be watching how many times you're, you're active. You've got to be active as a young person. You've got to be active, hitting the gym. Make sure that you're doing the right workouts, the right training, the right nutrition, day in, day out, physically. Mentally, make sure that your body is on point because when you hit 30, you're going to rely on those mechanisms that you built in your early stages. When I was in my 20s, and now I'm 31 now, when I was in my 20s, I was focusing on my, my graft, my body, my mind, my finances. I wasn't playing around. I was making sure that my physical fitness is going to be on point because when I get to a certain age, I want to be like, okay, I've built up all of these mechanisms. Now my body is able to um, go out into the world and still look physically fit. You want to be a fit person the time you get older because that's going to make you stand out from the rest of these other guys. You don't want no dad bod, 
damn you hit 30, your guts all around, you can't see, you can't, see, you can't look down, you can't see anything. Your guts hanging out, you're looking crazy. You don't, have, you don't want that, man, trust me. You want to be able to move around, agility, you know, able to, like, put up these um, youngsters. Some youngsters will be like, oh, are you going to show them off? Because you know that you've been focusing on your body, so they can't even test you. These young 20 year olds can't test you because you've been working on your fitness, so your adrenaline, your agility, your, your stamina is on point. It's always going to help you in your relationship. Because as you get older, you know you're know you going to need that stamina, especially in the bedroom. You don't be going in there and you're huffing and puffing. Like, <laughs> Babes, give me two minutes. Because, you're, because you, you didn't focus on your body when you were young. Now, you're, now you've got all these like, health problems. Trust me, focus on your physical health. You're going to find it a lot more easier when it comes to doing stri um, strenuous activities. Things that's going to make you tired. You're going to be able to absorb those attacks, absorb those training and go forward like it's nothing. Tip number three on five, on five things to do before 30 is to understanding your SMV. SMV stands for sexual market value. You need to understand where you come in in the market as your looks, your height, body type, race. All these things plays a factor on the type of people attracted to you. But understanding that in a young age is going to allow you to level up even more because we know already that you can't change certain things. You can't change your color unless you're gonna do some sort of surgery. Realistically, you can't change your color, you can't change your height. The only thing you're physically able to change is your body fat percentage, the way you look, your hair, all these things you can change and you can become more and more attractive to yourself. And that's gonna allow you to increase your SMV to a certain level. But the things that you can't control, don't make that bother you because you, it is what it is, right? You can't go and change certain things and before you know, you're looking at a totally different person from when you were born. Don't be doing that. Focus on the things that you can control. Going to the gym, obviously looking after your facial skin. Keep telling people daily regimens. Make sure that you're washing your skin at least twice a day. Make sure you're brushing your teeth at least twice a day. Make sure all these things are going to highlight your looks. You're going to become more appealing to the, to the opposite gender. Even to the society, businesses are always going to work with you because you look good. Listen, people want people that look good. If you're a guy that looks trashy, no one's going to want to work with you or talk to you. They'll think you're homeless. If you're looking after yourself, your skin is glowing, you dress well, make sure that everything is on point, people are going to look after you and be like, bro, this guy knows how to look after himself. Because now, if you, if you can't look after yourself, how do they expect you to look after their business or work with you? You can't look after yourself. So looking after yourself is key. It's key in terms of SMV. Building your SMV, your sexual market value is going to increase, guys. So make sure you focus on physical, financial growth. Tip number four of five things to understand before 30 is red pill. You need to understand what red pill means in today's society. Red pill means understanding female nature. You're going to go into a relationship understanding how women behave and how to deal with it when they behave the way they do. Red pill, blue pill. Blue pill... I mentioned this in my previous video, blue pill guys, they just go with the flow. They don't wanna they don't wanna understand it. They just wanna be like, I'm just gonna take it as it as it is and go with the flow. Red pill want to understand it and know these are the factors that affect women and men. So you go in there with the knowledge. knowledge. And that's what I'm saying. Red pill wants to understand the knowledge of how women nature is. Blue pill ignore that and be like, you know what, I'm just gonna go into it and hope for the best. That's not gonna help you, trust me, because if you go in there hope for the best and they switch up on you, you're gonna end up losing a lot, trust me. Losing your mind, losing sometimes your finances. I've seen guys lost their houses because they're not going there physically and mentally ready for things that can go down the drain. Listen, I would say make sure you focus on how to um, counteract those things by putting certain things in place. Life is life, but you gotta know how to deal with it. And you, as a red pill, you will go in there understanding how to deal with it because you put all these mechanisms in place you know how to come out of it without losing too much tip number five and listen one this one's very important guys you can change in one year one good year one good year can change your life guess what put all of the things aside relationships going out to parties going out with friends and grind hard Put all of that effort into your purpose, into your craft, 
And I guarantee you, in one year's time, you're going to see a big difference in your physical, your financial, your mental. All these things are going to become better. Because what? Because you allowed yourself to become better. You took away all of the other things. You thought, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to go goals for a whole year. Goals for a whole year and just grind. And I guarantee you, you're going to come out a better person than you did before. That's how you're going to improve yourself before 30. All the party in your 20s, listen, that's going to come later. Trust me. In my 20s, I didn't party, mate. I wasn't partying. I partied like probably a few times. In university, I didn't party. I didn't even stay in dorms. I was grinding, bro. I was in, I was grinding. I was thinking about 10 years ahead when my friends would be like, oh, they're thinking about, they're thinking about next week. I'm thinking 10 years ahead. In 10 years from now, I want to be earning six figures. I want to be earning seven figures. That was a mindset you got in. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to be average. I told myself, I don't want to be average because I know this life is going to be hard. I don't want to be a guy that's paying paycheck to paycheck. I'll just pay that bill. I want to be like, I want to go buy something today, go to shop and buy it. You know what? I want to catch a flight. I will go catch a flight. That's the mindset, but you have to grind for it. It ain't going to come easy. Nothing's going to be handed to you, mate. Listen, in this world, nothing gets handed to you. you got to put in the hours, man. Listen, when I was in my 20s, I, was, I went to university. I didn't, even, I didn't even take a summer break. I grind throughout. University is usually three years. I've done it in two years, bro. I've done it in two years. Guess why? I took no breaks. I grinded. I grinded because I realised I wanted to come out in the market before my peers. So if everyone comes out together, we're all going to be batting each other to get a job. And I said, you know what? What I'm going to do is, while these guys are going to go out the summer break, I'm going to go do my next module, my next assignment. Because I knew if I come out in the market before them, I get an edge over them. They ain't thinking like that. They're thinking, ah, uni. I'm thinking, no, no, no. I've got to make sure that I'm on, I'm on one step ahead of you guys because I know it's a competitive market. Always think competitive, guys. Listen, it's chess, not checkers. Make sure you are moving in the right direction. Put your, put your pieces in the right places. Because trust me, you want to be grinding. You want to become the best person that you can become. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, click on the subscribe button. Join the community, FAQ Vlogs, FAQ Fitness. Catch me on Instagram, Andrew FAQ underscore fitness. If you want more level of tips, more motivational, I'm there. Till next time, guys. Peace.